Let's go to the new camp. Okay, follow me. What are you doing out here? I'm a hunter. Above all, I hunt scavengers. Where will I get a bow? Here. I sell the best bows in the old camp. Show me your goods.
What are you doing here? I'm a hunter. I make a living out of selling skins and teeth. Does it pay? If you know how to cut up the beast the right way, yeah. I want to learn how to cut up animals. What do you want to know? What do I have to observe while skinning reptiles? The only reptiles suited for this purpose are lurkers and swamp sharks. If you slit the skin at the sides, it'll peel off by itself. From now on, you should be able to skin reptiles. 
Show me how to take off the claws. Actually, it's quite simple if you know what to do. Bend the claws forward, never backwards. And you mustn't pull them out either. Lizard's claws are especially useful. From now on, you'll know which creature's claws to take. How can I skin these creatures? It's very important to skin them from the front to the back. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be easy. Furs are very valuable. The furs of wolves and shadow beasts can be used to make clothes. When you examine the fur of a killed animal, you'll soon notice if it can be used or not. How do I get the teeth? The most important thing is to make sure the teeth don't splinter. To avoid that, put your knife near the center of the tooth and lever it out carefully. You can take the teeth of wolves, shadow beasts, and snappers. Well, here we are. When you pass through the gate, you'll reach the new camp. Talk to Lars. He will help you. Give this to him. It's a precious ring. It's your ticket to see Lars. You need a good reason to be allowed to meet him. Well, thinking about it, I think I'll stay here for some time. I've earned enough for now, and things are heating up in the old camp. If you want, come and meet me at the bar. It's the hut out on the lake. Take care. See you. Just arrived. We need somebody to take some water to the peasants in the rice fields. This way you can make friends with a few people. What do you think? Maybe later. But I won't need anybody later. I need your help right now. You want to help me or not? Take the water to the peasants yourself. That's no good way of treating friends. I think I'll have to teach you some manners. Easy. Everything's all right. It was a good fight. Never do that again. I 
I'd rather kill you, but the ore's not bad either. You looking for trouble with me again? You take care of the rice fields, don't you? Why? You looking for work? What are you doing here? You looking for trouble? Hey, relax. I'm a newcomer. Huh? You look okay, though. You never know. You get new guys come along thinking they're it every day. What's a man like you doing with the peasants? Lee asked me that. I don't fight anymore, except to defend myself. I killed a guy once. And that was once too many. That's why they chucked me in this goddamn colony. It was justice. How did it happen? It was just an ordinary bar fight. I didn't mean to kill the guy. I just must have hit him too hard. I was a blacksmith at the time. I didn't know my own strength. Why did you join this camp? I'll tell you. My only option was to join those cyclunies, and I didn't want to let those gurus of theirs mess about with my brain. In the old camp, I'd have had too much trouble with the guards, but the mercenaries and rogues do have some respect. They're afraid of you? Maybe. Anyway, I found peace here, and you should try the same. Can you teach me to be as strong as you are? Even if I could, what would you use your strength for? To teach these bastards how to talk to me properly. And before you knew it, you'd become another of those bastards yourself. No, sir, I'm not training you for that. I've been thinking the whole thing over. And? Have you thought of anything better? No. I thought so. Hi, I'm new here. I just wanted to know what goes on around here. Ask someone else, will ya? I do nothing but work out here in the fields. I don't know nothing. Man, I'd love to tell the Rice Lord to do his own damn dirty work. Who is the Rice Lord? He was one of the first to arrive here. He helped found the camp and start up the rice fields. These days, he just hangs out at the warehouse, stretching his stomach, the fat pig. If you don't like it, why are you working here? It happened the first day I got here. Lefty, one of the thugs that works for the Rice Lord, came up to me and asked if I could lend a hand in the rice fields. Sure, I said. I was new here and I wanted to make myself useful. The next day, when I was taking a short rest, 
the guy turned up again. You don't want to let all your colleagues do all their work by themselves, do you? He asked. I told him I was exhausted from the previous day's work, that I needed a rest and all that. But he never listened. He grabbed me by the collar and dragged me back to the field. From that day on, he stood outside my doorstep every day until I got used to going on my own. I didn't want any trouble with those guys. They're real cutthroats. You'd better steer clear of them. Who is the Rice Lord? He was one of the first to arrive here. He helped found the camp and start up the rice field. Hi, I'm new here. It's good to see a fresh face. You must have been here a long time, huh? Damn right, boy. Hey, I was one of the first. In that case, you must know a lot about this place. So-so. Mm, Spend most of my time out here just picking rice. That's what let me get so old. We get some rice and the odd snaps. That's not much, but that's enough. Why are you here? Taxes, boy, taxes. My shed was as empty as my stomach, and I just couldn't pay. So one day the soldiers came and brought me here, but it's no worse in here than it is out there. At least I won't starve in here. I always paid my taxes before, all my life. But that wasn't good enough for that son of a bitch with a crown. Do you intend to go through this gate? Do you intend to stop me? No, but you should know what's waiting for you. This is not like in the old camp, and not like being with the sect loonies either. And what am I expecting here? There are no guards or Templars to look after you. It's every man for himself. The only ones who stick together are us mercenaries. What do the mercenaries do? We, we are the mercenaries of the Water Mages. Our target is to break free from here. We're working hard for it, and don't plan to take things easy like the guys from the old camp who are just having an easy time resting on the backs of the diggers. And we all follow Lee. He's a great man. He's the one who holds this damn camp together. What do the mages do? They investigate the magic characteristics of the ore our scrapers collect in the mine. As far as I know, they want to blow the whole damn ore mound sky high to free us from the barrier. Sounds dangerous. 
They said we shouldn't worry. What about the rest of the people? All crooks. They don't give a damn about the camp. I'd rather just have the peasants guarding the front gate. How are things going at the moment? The scrapers are still collecting. Once they have enough ore, we'll blow the mound up. You have a massive ore mound here? You could say that. We could buy the king's wife for that. But we don't give a damn about trading the ore with that old fart. We want to get out of here. Where's the ore mound? You want to see a real mound of ore, do you? There's a hole in the middle of the cave. They shove it all in there. But you won't get anywhere near it, I can tell you. The mages and our people guard the ore day and night. I was just curious. Watch your back. Are you looking for something? I'm looking for leaks in the dam. I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Did you build the dam? Yes, I built the dam back when we founded the new camp. Of course everyone helped, but I was the master builder. Is there anything I can do to help? Sure, stop that beast from gnawing at my dam. Where can I find the beast? I'd hunt round on the other side of the lake. Nobody ever goes there. That's probably where its den is. Thank you. 